all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and information as it ought without wasting much of your time uh let's go down to the full detail of the information as it ought sharp sharp um ipob lawyer don't advise the nigerian government to investigate uh, an austria based uh, nigerian that have advised that um all ndibo should be poisoned <laughs> Oh, say Taylor. Uh, meanwhile, the bank is now a Kenega thing. Kuaka, uh, Nanya Bek, and now Obago. If also, but let's go down to the full detail of the information before I'll come back for my analysis. The Council for the Indigenous People of Biafra, Sir Ifan Ejofoha, has called on the federal government to immediately investigate an austria based Nigerian identified simply as Mr. Kinsley for calling for the poisoning of Ndibo children wherever they are in a statement on tuesday a Jofo said the prevailing selective action by the federal government has necessitated the call for the immediate investigation of the austria based nigerian for his, for his hate speech as no action has been taken yet on the issue the statement read in part following the condemnable hate speech from one kinsley in austria and a subsequent outburst by amaka patients some bagger in Canada, evidence abound that the federal government had promptly and without entertaining any delay, expeditiously reached out to the Canadian authorities to investigate Amaka. Further, if the information available in the media is accurate, Amaka has been suspended from work while the investigation is ongoing. However, we are here to see a similar action against Kensley, who initiated the hate speech debate. It is equally important that the federal government takes swift action regarding Kensley, who vile call for the poisoning of Igbo children on August 29, 2024, has shocked and horrified many, which equally necessitated Amaka's outburst. Therefore, I strongly urge the federal government, especially Dr. Abike Dabidi Erewa, to engage with the Austrian government to ensure that Kensley is thoroughly investigated and sanctioned accordingly for his reprehensible action, he will he will have no place to hide. Uh, this one is uh, is coming from the social media. This is social media banter that has been going between Ndibo and the uh, Yorubas, and um, the banter started with um, uh, a Yoruba man, a butter cities. Uh, when an Igbo girl responded, the federal government took it serious. But they have not actually investigated the person who actually began uh, that particular banter. And I will say that that one is partiality on the side of the government for the government being judgmental and not facing their judgment squarely. At least uh, if the judgment is issuing punishment to um, anybody on cyber uh, uh, bullying, I think um, the both parties should be questioned. For inside, inside emo states, inside, inside emo states, uh, we don't they hear Kepu Kepu uh, say the NIG bo them boys, NIG them boys, where we say they don't they for that area. Uh, the information where we say they drop from my table, say those boys don't collect water, water. <laughs> uh, I ask, who they give them water, water? Who they give them water, water? Uh, the information where they drop, they say, hmm, they say a Simon about them boys, so say those boys know they hear. Uh, they say as they be, uh, the boys entered where the NIG and army boys they come, and uh, they open their granites uh, as they, they bomb the granites, and uh, they do what is no good uh, to the boys. We'll be seeing them be the NIG boys, and I say, oh, NIG boys, uh, what is what they do? I be when I know they fear. Uh, they say um, they know they fear. They say me they do am um, uh, hand to hand. Uh, say uh, if boys and boys do am, I got Madame Belabo in Kebo. Okay, meanwhile, uh, now the can lose freedom. We end insecurity in the southeast. Ejimako, my husband and the can lose lawyer Aloy Ejimako has said that every single insecurity that is happening in the southeastern part of Nigeria is in my husband and the can lose destiny. To end each and every one of them. Let's go down to details. Aloy Ejimako led council to Nam the Kanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, 
On Saturday, said the release of the pro Biafra agitator will end insecurity in the southeast. Ejimako said those preventing Kano's freedom are profiting from the insecurity in the southeast. Posting on X, the lead council said Kano is etched in the hearts and minds of legions. According to Ejimako, it may be hard to understand the mind of man, but one thing that is certain is that Mazin and the Kano is etched in the hearts and minds of the legions. You can bet that insecurity will come to a halt once MNK is freed. Anyone blocking his release is profiting from the insecurity in the southeast. Kano has been detained since June 2021 when he was rearrested and subjected to extraordinary rendition from Kenya to Nigeria. While incarcerated, the insecurity in the southeast has risen to the highest point, with killing and kidnapping being the order of the day. This one is coming from uh, Mazen and the Kano's lawyer, Aloy Ejimako. Of course, you know that that is true. That if Kano happens to be released today, uh, I might not say that, that the insecurity will stop 100%, uh, but there is a possibility uh, that if Kano is released today, that a lot of things is going to change in the southeastern part of Nigeria. A lot of things, many, many things, are going to change in the southeastern uh, part of Nigeria. That is what you need to understand. It might not be 100% immediately because uh, there are a lot of bad eggs that have hijacked uh, what is happening in the southeast. Uh, they have decided uh, to use it as a means, as a means of um, income, as a means of livelihood. Uh, insecurity has become the order of the day because the government of the day allowed it. And if you look at it, uh, it looks as if those uh, in the security outfit are also uh, benefiting from the insecurity that is happening in this country because you find that out every year now, as Nigeria is, uh, when a uh, yearly budget is being passed, uh, you find out that the insecurity is added and insecurity procurement for insecurity uh, uh, tools to fight insurgency and the rest of them they take almost a, a big percentage of the they take almost a big percentage of the of the the budget the national budget and this will tell you that and as this allocation goes to the the, the security outfits it shows that somehow somehow they are benefiting from this thing so i think it's high time the government cop how much that is being allocated to the uh, issue of fighting insurgency, issue of fighting insecurity, and the rest of them, and you see that this insecurity will go down. Uh, one military soldier said uh, by name, Dan Juma, that whatever that is happening in Nigeria today, that Akandia Menonimia, and this is coming from an insider, it's not even uh, a novice, this is a retired military general who came out openly to sp speak on what is happening in this nation many people might not believe it uh, because uh, they might not even try to you know uh, was harder on that particular thing to speak harder on it but as it be um the man is in a no metal team you're making or metal tunnel those who are benefiting from the insecurity that is happening in the southeast and the nation at large i believe that one day it is going to be their turn uh, because he who tames a lion uh, I don't. I think that that lion one day might forget when he's hungry. I might forget that this particular person is actually my owner. And the lion, what, what the lion will want first is just to fill its belly. And I will say, umibe, that this is where I'll be winding down the curtain. If this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you'll be the first one collect them. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Afro government have introduced in order to curb and fight these terrorists in our land. Believe me, we don't ask questions and we don't have prisons. We do not have prison yard or facilities or correctional facilities. This is an official announcement that from the 30th of August, every movement of cows in the bushes are banned completely banned 
And remember that this pronouncement has never been made since the beginning of the liberation of Biafra. Even when the, the corrupt idiots were making their laws of the movement of cow and the terrorists and all that, which were never enforced, from the Yoruba land down to the Biafra land. Many of these fake people paraded themselves as representative of the people has one point in time tried to ban the movement of cows because these are terrorists who follows them. And all this why we have been observing waiting for a moment like this when they have attacked us and the evidence is there so from the 30th of august and i know that before 30th of august they are going to unleash mayhem on our people but believe me whatever happens know that the afra government is equal to the tax we will never deviate from engaging their counterpart in the uniform from the 30th of August, we will face those terrorists in the bushes. And I promise Biafra people that under this government, we will eradicate the interstate movement of terrorists with their cows from one place to another. It is our focus. And that particular measures has been taken, considered by the government and the Biafra Defense Forces and implementation will follow ruthlessly. So the Afro people, all you need remain the support to the government. And we thank you for the support you have given so far by making sure that you are speaking in one voice like never before. The Nigeria states are quaking and panicking those one Nigeria gullible, idiotic fraud stars, the internet criminals are quaking and trebling because they have seen that Biafrans are all behind the Biafra government. And it shocked them. And more of this will be coming, more of the hate will be coming because they see that you are now coming back in unison and becoming unified. That unity is exactly what this tour is targeted at achieving. We thank you in homeland, Biafra de facto government in the homeland, who have smartly conducted and conducting the self-referendum and we have seen over 50 million votes. Still counting because the voting will end November 28. I want to thank you for your belief and trust in the Biafra government. The changes you crave for, the nation you are fighting for, you will enjoy it. I want you to understand that many propaganda will come because they see Prime Minister of Biafra is standing very strong. And I am telling you all that 